How about reading Quran? There was two questions about it. One is, can I read it during menstruation? Second one is, will I get the same reward if I read it from the phone or from the tablets versus I'm reading it from the Quran? Let's start to the first one. Majority of the opinion accepted Imam Malik. He said, you cannot. Don't ask me why. Back to the beginning. Accept Allah's order. Yani by Allah, and I'm going to challenge you here. Everybody in this room, don't show me hands. Every single day, you read at least 30 minutes of the Quran every single day. So when Ramadan comes in and you are not reading the Quran for five days, you start making it the end of the world. Again, I'm, I'm speaking with you very truthfully because I see it. So number one, reading from the Quran, there is a more than one contemporary opinion. They said they, they are challenging this because the hadith is weak. But I always like to play it safe. Don't read it from the Quran itself. And don't read with moving your lips. By the way, if you don't move your lips, it's not reading. You have to move your lips. In fact, you have to move your tongue, actually, they say. Tahariq al is reading. So if you're looking at the Quran, you're not moving your tongue, you're not reading. But you're reading with your eyes, but doesn't count as reading. You're not disobeying Allah. And if I read it, and touching the Quran also, almost all of them say you, the, the woman during her menses should not touch the Quran. Okay, can I do it with from the phone? The answer is absolutely yes. Clear? Is it the same reward? Yes or no? Bismillah. Who said yes? Same reward. <coughs> Three fuqaha. And who says? And who says no? <coughs> It's not the same. One faqih. And the rest is Allahu A'lam. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. I'm very happy. Okay. What do you think the answer is? No. Again, when you see how scholars look at things, it's very different. They don't look at things abstract. Yes and no. What about the blind person? So the blind person will not take the same reward? What about a person who doesn't know how to read? You think they don't exist? They do. How about somebody who don't know how to, how to read Arabic? That's very common. This is how they said. And I loved it when I was reading it. They say, which one will bring you closer to Allah? Which will, one will make you feel the Quran more is the recommended. Because the argument was also, should the woman, the hafidah, read from the memory or she should read from the Quran. Yani she knows it, but is it looking at the Quran will give her more rewards? Did you look at that point? And they said, it doesn't matter. If you're, whichever makes you feel it, whichever makes you understand and reflect, do it. Highest level, which I was advised by one of my teachers, Again, I'm going to give you the highest level and see what you can do. And I've seen it done by my teachers. They do three khatma in Ramadan. One in the car by listening. So you drive and one by reading. Reading. And one by... The reading is usually contemplation. They are all hafad, of course. One to contemplate and one to read. So they will have it all, have it all. So one, you listen. You're driving, you are walk, you're exercising, you're walking, you're going to do your things. Make it as a khatma. You start, you know, you have it, you have it on your phone, keep listening. That's one. And this helps you a lot when you are menstruating because you are absolutely fine with that. You're cooking, you're cleaning, you're going to bring your child, you are driving to school. These are all times that we waste a lot. If we look at how much time we spend in this, it will be at least an hour, if not more a day. It actually, it's definitely more in, in this state. So you can do one by listening. Choose your favorite reciter and listen to him. 
Second is you read with contemplations, which means you're going to read in translation if you don't know the Arabic. And the third one, you read in the Arabic for the reading. Or if you are a hafiba, of course, you will review. And then you are done. You can do it when you are still menstruating. When you are very super busy, everybody these days put this in their, in their ears. What they are doing. What they are doing. And then they ask me, is music haram? Put it and listen to the Quran. And this is actually one of the ways, bi'idhnillah, training camp is Ramadan, is to remove the singing from your heart. Is that you try not to do it in Ramadan, because Ramadan is easier. All the acts of worship is easier in Ramadan. The barakah, as we call it, Ramadan. Try not to listen to anything other than the Quran. And see what will happen to this heart. And then you can do this. And when you are menstruating or when you are not. 